I love creating work in After Effects because there's just so many small techniques that you can apply to help quickly improve your work really quick. So in this video, we're gonna talk about five quick motion graphic techniques to help you improve your work through 2021 and beyond. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing excellent today. All these techniques can be applied to your work within under a minute. So we're gonna jump into our tutorial and we're gonna get started and feel free to use the time code below to take a look at a very specific technique in this video. All right, so our first quick technique is creating loop animations that allow you to create accent graphics going across your composition. So for example, what you can do here is grab like the pen tool and draw out a straight line like this and then move it outside of your composition. And then you can just do any animation you want. So you hit P on keyboard for position and then you can, you know, animate this across your comp. And it's just gonna do one, you know, pass through of an animation. But if you want this repeated, all we have to do is all click the stopwatch that you did your animation on. And you just type in loop out, open and close parenthesis like that. And now what's going to happen is this, this line is going to go repeatedly across the composition and this will work with pretty much any other object as well. So if you want to do like circles or anything, you can do this really quick. And what this allows us to do is quickly duplicate our work. And by quickly duplicating your work, you can have some really cool detail in your compositions right here in After Effects with one expression. So for the second technique, I love doing this is creating a little bit of camera shake with your compositions really easy. So all you have to do is just go up to layer new adjustment layer. And then you go to effect stylize and you grab motion tile and all you do is all click the stopwatch for tile center and you type in a wiggle open parenthesis 0.5 comma maybe 20 and close just like that and you're getting a very subtle camera shake here and if you want you can make it a little bit more intense by increasing that second number there and it becomes a little bit more pronounced another technique you can do because you'll get cutoffs and things like that make sure you check on mirror edges and if i apply this to our previous composition it looks pretty dope and looks awesome for a lot of different things so give it a try and make sure mirror edges is checked on so we have a really clean title animation here along with a rectangle shape here and i want to be able to just make this pop a little bit more and one technique we can apply is just variating the color so what i mean by that is we take our shape layers or any shape that you want to do this to and you simply duplicate it and all you have to do is save the two top layers and offset it in time by maybe a couple of frames. And we can duplicate it, say one more time, bring it up and offset it by a couple more frames. And then what we do is we take each selection of those duplicates and we can quickly change the colors to whatever color we want. And by changing the colors of the layers, you're gonna get this little extra color animation right here. And that looks a lot better than just it by itself. So if you quickly wanna bring more detail to your graphics, this is one way that you can do that. And before we move on to our next technique, I wanna give a huge shout out to our 650 Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension right here for After Effects. So this is our Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension right here inside of After Effects, which holds hundreds of templates ranging from titles, animated backgrounds, call to actions, shape transitions, and more. And for example, if you're looking for a title animation, we can come through here, find a title animation that we want by previewing it and click on apply when you find the template that you want. And we automatically get a full title animation imported into our composition, which we can go into that title composition, change out our titles to whatever we need it to say. And we can easily adjust the graphics to fit our titles perfectly. Then it updates automatically in our main composition and we have this animation. And then we can also apply accent motion graphics to help enhance this. So we'll come into our clusters and we'll apply a very quick accent graphic cluster to this. So now we have our title animation with a little bit more detail with our accent graphics to help bring this to the next level. We can also apply an animated background to this or we can go to our expanded library of Sunduck backgrounds and we can find a background that works perfectly for our project. And when you find the right template, you go ahead and click on apply. All right, and now we're able to put together a full composition right here inside of After Effects by adding titles, animated backgrounds, and accent graphics to help take this to the next level. And we have a handful of different packs for our extension right here in After Effects so you can build up your library of templates that you can apply into any project you are working on. So if you're looking to save time in After Effects while producing awesome work, you can take a look at our motion graphic starter pack. I will link it below. If you do pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. And our fourth technique is about creating a quick background animation. So a lot of people, what they like to do is go to layer new solid and just kind of create a very, a very simple background for the graphics. Maybe that's what works. And you know, that's better than having a black screen and you know, that's what serves the purpose. But what I like to do is with that background, I'll go ahead and grab say the ellipse tool here. And you know, I can change this to like maybe a darker color or something like that. And what I'm going to do is just draw out a circle, hold down shift on my keyboard. And I'm just going to make sure this is centered in the middle of my composition with the align tab and control double click the pan behind tool. So then we know that anchor point is going to be in the center. And all we're going to do here 
is we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline, hit S on keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for that, you know, and we'll set the scale down to 0%, and then we'll move forward in time, maybe by a second, and then we'll scale this all the way to fill the composition like this, boom. Then what we're gonna do is like pull those keyframes, hit F9 on keyboard to make them easy, ease keyframes, and we'll come here to the graph editor, and we'll select the point down here, and we'll simply drag out the point here, and drag out the other point, right across, and boom, Make sure this is right underneath our title or graphic you're working on. And now what's going to happen, boom, it's just a lot more impactful than just having a solid background there. So if you're going to have a solid background to begin with, because that's what works for your project, just animate it really quick with a circle or some other graphic. Just a really cool idea just to bring a little bit more detail to your animation. For our fifth and final technique, it's about creating a very controlled camera lens blur that works great for motion graphics because it creates bokeh as if it was shot in camera. So let me show you how this works. So first of all, you have all your work done. Go ahead and create an adjustment layer and go to effect, uh, blur and sharpen and add camera lens blur. And it's a really subtle effect, but let me punch this up. If we start punching this up, you'll start getting these bokeh in here and it looks really nice as if it was shot in camera and you have the ability to change that out. So now it's an octagon and that's really cool. But I want to talk about creating controlled camera lens blurs here. So for example, could just create, you know, add a keyframe here and you know, have it go back down to zero. So you have a very nice soft focus at first and everything pops into play. And I think that's awesome. But also what I like to do with this effect is create very controlled uh, focuses. So for example, what I'm going to do is come here and grab say the rectangle tool or the ellipse tool, whatever I want to do. And I could just mask around the logo if I wanted to or any other important part of my scene and I can click on subtract on that mask and then hit F on my keyboard for mask feather and really feather this out. And make sure you check on repeat edge pixels as well. So it's a very subtle look to some motion graphics like this one and you don't have to animate the blur out. You can keep it around your main graphics and it blurs out the rest of the composition and it looks really cool. You know, it looks great in other examples as well. And obviously depending on how much you punch this up, this can look really great for other graphics as well. So those are my five really quick techniques moving into 2021 that I wanted to put out there in this video. So hope you enjoyed them. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.